move on again, and we can... Oh, it's gonna be a boss fight, isn't it? That's why you gave me the save point. Yeah, we're not close to the end, by the way, but we have a new enemy. It looks like another one of the Mega Mutants. Is it a different color? I don't know. But it's the Giga Mutant! And this guy... Well, he's... He's fairly tough, fairly tough. We're gonna go for Dark Matter on him, though. And we're also going to go for Luminaire. I mean, there's a save point right back there. I have no problem going back and healing after this fight. 1,200 damage each. And then, of course... Yeah, that was, uh, that was MP. I was to say, there's no way it was 11 HP. There's no way even... A I don't care what kind of defense you got, there's no way that's true. How much? How much? Ten. I don't know if that's a counterattack, but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Let's go for Ice 2. Why not? You, you got nothing else to do around you, unfortunately. That is her strongest attack right now. Does 600 and then yeah, he reaches some of the, uh, the MP away from her. So unfortunately, Vash looks like he's only going to be able to use it uh, maybe two more times. That shouldn't be enough that I should be concerned about it. It's not. And of course, since everybody has protect status, this becomes a lot easier. And once again, uh, Black Omen, kind of optional, kind of not. Uh, I don't know. I, I've always done it. How do you? There's a big scary dungeon. How do you avoid the big scary dungeon and go, no, I'll just take the bucket. Or I'll take 1999. No, no, no. no. Black Omen. But I guess technically it is a side quest. You don't have to do it. But a lot of this you don't have to do. And we've already defeated the bottom part. Once again, not that tough. Uh, just, you know. Oh, he's weak. He's uh, strong against all physical attacks, so don't even bother doing those. Then Dark Matter should kick his ass here. If not, we got another Luminaire waiting for you. You are doomed here. Doomed. But down he goes to Ice 2 anyway. We get 1,500 experience, 2,000 gold, and I'm going to backtrack to the save point and use another shelter, to be honest with you. So I'll meet you right back up here. All right, let's move on then. Now with that boss out of the way, it should be fairly easy, right? Surely there's not another boss exactly the same as that. No, surely things come only in pairs. I mean, everything else in the game actually has, now that I think about it, like Yakra and all that kind of stuff. And we have another elevator! I'm sure there will be... there will be fights along the way. Of course there are. Goons. Really? It had to be goons. God, they have my MP! Or HP! It's not nice! It's not nice! God, I just wanted that fight to be over. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasted a lot of, uh... Of health doing that, so I do need to heal. Luckily, it was just the one fight. I just wanted to go through them. I didn't want to, to actually use tactics, and unfortunately, that means one of your characters dying. Or at least it did for me. Syncrites. All right, let's move on. We need to. What the hell are these? We need to take on vampires. Oh, they called goons. Damn it! I hate goons. Luckily, I was able to take them on. And, and, you know, without too much of a problem. Ah, uh, are you serious? Two tubsters? How dare you? Luckily, Vash is defensive enough to handle two straight attacks from them. Luke is not. Luke is definitely not. I wanted what was in the treasure chest. Why? Why must you stop me? We must take on panels, it looks like. But after defeating them, it has opened up... Uh, this treasure chest to us, which is a speed tab, and it's also opened up this save point, which, once again, I'm going to use. With that done, we are free to move on, and we find two more treasure chests, but unfortunately, it looks like there is going to be another fight once again. Are we up against... Well, it's a little different, so it's another freaking mutant. Ugh, are you serious? We're up against... The Terra Mutant, which is apparently more than a Giga. Technically, it is actually Terabyte. Terra, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, well, let's go for the same thing that we were doing before, of course. Uh, dark Matter. And Luminaire. If you don't have Dark Matter, well, 
you could try black hole. Seriously, it heals the bottom part? Fine, then I guess we'll just take out the top body part first. Uh, assume since it's Terra, like the bottom... I don't know, whatever. 1800 more damage. Let's go for... Uh, yeah, let's go for Ice 2. Ice 2 should work nicely. I assume that the bottom part is healed by all... Uh, all magic, yeah, it looks like it. So, we're gonna need to take out the, bo the, the bottom part with uh, physical attacks. And of course it... really? <laughs> it, it heals itself off the bottom part? I thought it was going for Vash there. I was wrong. Instead, it's going for its self. Which surely is smart. Surely that is the smartest strategy. Uh, we need to take out the, the, the top part. The bottom part doesn't seem to be attacking us, to be honest with you. And once it starts healing itself, I never know. I never know when, <laughs> how, how close I am to defeating it. It's always a, a shot in the dark for me, and of course, uh, whenever it tries to do a chaos move, it doesn't hurt that much. It's just trying to inflict the chaos uh, status effect, which is why I have status effects on everybody all the time. You never know when something like that's going to come up. Uh, I assume, like, even the boss could, the final boss, even Lavos, could, yeah. Uh, could do something like that to you. Is that going to be enough to take out the top? It is, so that dark matter is useless to me now. But, I still cast it. I still cast it. Oh! And the bottom part just automatically dies. It can't live without the top part. You get 2,000 experience points, 3,800 gold. It'll be leveled up. That's okay. And no tech points, but I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care. You get a white rock out of there. And a mega elixir. Now the white rock, of course, is going to be another one of the triple techs uh, items, I guess. Triple tech accessories. Now, unfortunately, I didn't sell anything because I don't need money. So I still have a ton of everything. You never know when it could come in handy. Ha <laughs> ha, it's probably never going to come in handy. I should just get rid of it. There's the white rock. Uh, Poyozo Dance. I, I will definitely show off the, all the text eventually, just like I did for Xenogears. I'm going to be doing that for, for Chrono Trigger. Don't you worry about that. But I need to go back and rest and save at the save point, and I'll meet you right back up here. With that done, let's move on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is this is the technique that Chrono Trigger uses to build suspense when it's when it's a long bridge and then the background doesn't go nearly as quickly. What's on the other side of the door? I, I'm on to you now, game. I'm on to you. It only took like 50 hours, but I'm on to you. What what do you have me fight now? Is it another mutant? I can handle another mutant. It's a lava spawn. It's been a while, lava spawn. But uh, this one's definitely an upgraded Lavo spawn, even though I don't think it has a different name. I think it's still just Lavo spawn. It is. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the well, the fortunately, I guess you could say, uh, the strategy is the same. Uh, you want to attack the mouth, not the shell. But unfortunately, uh, Luke doesn't have anything that just a uh, single attack. So. Single, yeah, so let's go for an Ice Sword 1, I guess. Uh, so we're going to use our most powerful uh, s single targeting dual text and uh, just a regular attack from from Luke, and that should be enough. Spawn Needle Disorder! I don't think it matters who it hits. It hits everybody! Uh, might need to heal now. Might need to heal. Just regular attack there. And... Yeah. Water, of course. Uh, let's go for a. Holy crap, let's go for a cure too. Uh, well, you can go for a confuse because, well, that's your strongest attack, and you can go for a cure too. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's on Vash. I'm, I was kind of confused there for a second. I was a little confused. Just a little confused. And there we go. Destruction zone, that does not sound good at all. How much damage does that do? Crap. 
But Vash clearly has the lowest magic defense out of everybody here. Let's go for another Ice Sword. Since that did a ton of damage. And we, sh and we should be good. We should be good. 2,000 more. Good lord. I mean, that's doing so much. Dark Bomb. Yeah. There we go with the glitchy. <laughs> Not that much damage. <laughs> I forget what kind of uh, what kind of equipment I have on everybody, or if it's just their magic defense that's doing all this. But good lord, is that doing is that doing good for me right now? Yeah, no need to heal. No need to heal right now. Let's go for another ice sword. Don't attack the shell. The ca the shell, of course, counter attacks. Ugh. 2,000 more damage. Nice. We are... We are doing this. We are... We are getting through it. It shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. From here on... Oh. Finally does need to, to heal, though. Unless that's the end? No. Of course not. Let's go for... Uh-oh. This... This could be bad. But it's not! Sweet. Let's, uh... Let's go for an Aura Whirl here. And then, yeah, you don't have any single... So just just smack it upside the head with your scythe. Since you're not s technically slicing at all, are you? 357 more damage is for the win. Down goes the lava spawn. And for that fight, we get 2,450 experience, 2,500 gold. Nice, I will definitely take that. Was that enough suspense for you? Is that enough suspense? Hold on one second, though. I think yeah, I, I do need to heal. I think. All right, let's head north here then. Now that we're all healed up, I did actually need to heal. What was I thinking? Not trying to heal. But we're up against more panel enemies. Looks like four once again. Actually, it was five. But that has opened up a save point, which I am going to be using because, well, no reason. No reason at all. So, we need to head through there next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I have been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Vash, Lamia, and Luke. When we continue through the scary door next to the save point. Surely there's not another mutant for us to fight or anything like that. No, no, no. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.